Husker fans certainly have a ton of hope with Scott Frost on the scene. Uh, the um, Golden Boy has come home, uh, who has, of course, won a national championship there as quarterback and now one of the hottest head coaching commodities in the nation is home in Lincoln. We bring in uh, Parker Gabriel. You can join him on Husker Extra to help us break down Nebraska football and news during the offseason. Parker, we appreciate your time, sir. Hey, thanks for having me Definitely. on, Mark. So unfortunately, a situation over the past couple of days in which Nebraska getting back to workouts, of course, the team did not make a bowl game, and therefore it's been a while since uh, the, the squad's been working out uh, as a team. Uh, and a couple guys passed out due to exhaustion was my understanding. I'll let you take it from there in, in regards to uh, the story. They had a couple guys, Tyjon Lindsay, um, who will be a sophomore in the falls, wide receiver, and then uh, a senior walk-on defensive lineman, Dylan Owen. Um, during a work, I guess it was actually after a workout, they started to show symptoms of um, rhabdomyolysis, which is the same – uh, deal we saw at Oregon when they had the three guys in the hospital last January and then um, 13 in Iowa, I think, back in 2011. Um, so they were both hospitalized, Lindsay for three days, Dylan Owen for two. Um, they're okay. They're back with the team. But it became – it was – it was uh, had both uh, newspapers in the area here and, and other media outlets, I think, kind of starting to figure out what had happened. And so then yesterday in the morning we were on the phone with uh, Scott Frost and he – did a good job, I think, of uh, of being upfront about what had happened and taking responsibility for it. And so he said, "It's a scary situation." And in the, when, the time when it's happened, it seems to be that right when they come back from winter conditioning um, is a similar situation at Oregon, where they had not made a bowl game the previous year and came back, and and uh, that's a long time to go without working out. And then um, it was a cycles workout where you're just doing maximum reps in a set amount of time. And it, it, those guys, uh, it's an overexertion. It can be really serious, but in these guys' case, it sounds like both are okay. So that was the uh, the first um, the first story that wasn't uh, uh, all positive, I guess, on the, uh, of the Scott Frost era. But I, I thought he handled it pretty well, so we'll see where it goes from here.